Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today I thought I would show you the corn patch. I've got four different varieties growing in here. Um, most of it isn't ready yet and it's been really wet so I'm hoping it doesn't mold. But we've got some, I think this is glass gem corn here. The ears are a little bit thin and a little bit long. Um, we've got quite a few that are just coming out in here and I picked a couple that had already dried a few days ago so I'm gonna open that up here pretty soon and then we've got um, you can see more a couple more ears back here so they're just about ready but they need a little bit more time to dry and then we've got some Peruvian varieties that grow super super tall so these are around 12 I think 12 feet tall last I measured um, but they have some really big kernels um, and it looks like this one here is getting close to ready to pick um, I've been feeling it and I need to wait until it feels kind of hard, but it still feels a little bit soft. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer to harvest that one. Um, but we don't have very many ears of that. There's just that one there. And I think this one might be the other Peruvian corn. I've got two different Peruvian corn varieties. This one looks a little bit longer and skinnier. Um, but I think that might be the only one of that one. And then also on the other side here, I've got some uh, Earth Tones Dent. And I think that's this one here. It's got a little bit fatter ears. And this one is getting pretty close to drying. So I might be able to pick that in the next couple days if, it, um, if we have a break in the rain. But what I do is I wait till the husks turn brown. And that's when you know that it's good and dry and ready to pick. So I don't think there's any right now, but I, I'll show you um, as I open a couple of the Earth, Tone, Earth Tones Dent, as well as some of the glass gem, and we'll see how it looks. So I've only got three ears that are dry so far. I think this is the glass gem corn. If not, it's the Earth Tones Dent. So let's see what we got. Hopefully something good. Look at that color. There's some greens, yellows, reds, purples, blues, pretty much every color in that one. This one looks pretty much the same as the other one. Lots of different colors, maybe a little bit more pinks, yellows, and reds. See what the last one brings us. Some earwigs in there. It's another multicolor one. So all three of these look pretty similar. Some of the other ones I've seen people grow kind of have, some of them have all one color or different shades of one color. But these three, this one might have a little bit more blues in it, blues and greens. But this is what we came up with. I'll be harvesting some more a little later when they're dry, but I started off with these three and I'm pretty happy with these. Not bad. So after some investigation, it looks like the corn that I husks, husked earlier is actually the Earth Tones Dent. So these three here are all Earth Tones Dent. So I'm going to go ahead and shuck these guys here and I think this one is the glass gem because it's a little bit longer and skinnier than the other one. So we'll see how this one looks. So we got some more earwigs. Oh, actually this one looks like the earth tones as well. So I think with the earth tones it's a dent corn so that's why you see these little dents in the corn. I don't think the glass gem is a dent corn, so I don't think it will have these indentations on the kernels. Um, let's go ahead and open some of these others and see what these look like. And it looks like this might also be an Earth Tones little bit lighter colored one. I 
This one also looks like an earth tones. So I guess the glass gem isn't quite ready yet. So we've got three, four, five, six of the earth tones dent. We'll have to wait a little bit longer for the glass gem, I guess. Alright, I think I might have some glass gem corn here. This one is a lot longer and skinnier than the other ones that I've been harvesting. So I'm going to open these up and see what we have. Yep, that looks like glass gem. The ears are a lot smaller than I was expecting. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think the variety is actually supposed to be bigger than that. But we've got some really nice, nice colors there. Let's see how the others look. This one looks a lot like that one. I see some people harvesting glass gem corn that that not all the ears look the same color. Um, but these two look pretty close to the same. Let's try some more. Now this one looks a lot lighter colored than the other two. It looks like I had a little bit of problem pollinating the tip there. But this one has a lot more pinks and purples in it. Let's try this one. This one's another dark dark one like the first two. There's a yellow. This one has a yellow kernel in it. It's really pretty. It's another light purple and pink colored one. Oops, didn't mean to take that off. We got one more. Another lighter one. We got three lights and three darks. Not too shabby. I might get a few more ears off of them. This is what we got from this batch. I've got two more ears here. These ones are still a little green, um, but it's we've got some really wet weather coming, so I decided to go ahead and pick these and maybe we'll see if we can get them to dry um, after we, we husk them. So this one here is the Peruvian corn, so I'm gonna wait for that one. I'm not sure what this one is. I think it might be another one of those um, earth tones dents, but we'll find out here in a second. They don't, it doesn't feel really soft, so I think we might be okay harvesting this one a little early. If it still felt soft, I would have left it on longer. Okay, this one looks like a short, stubby um, earth tones dent. I can see it's got the dimples in the corn kernels, um, which you don't see on the glass gem. So this one is definitely one of the dent corns. All right, let's check out the Peruvian one. I grew two different varieties. One is a purple, kind of a reddish purple, I think one. And then the other one was um, more of a white kind of multicolored one. And I'm, I have no idea which one this one is. It's got a lot more husk on it. Oh, this is the white multicolored one. So this one's got some really pretty kernels and the Peruvian corns have really, really big kernels compared to other, other varieties. But it looks really neat. Very pretty. So I think we were okay. It looks like it's, the kernels are nice and hard. They just need a little bit more time to dry. But check, check this out. Isn't that a neat looking corn? So this one is not a dent corn, I don't think, because it doesn't have the dimples. But it is some type of um, field 
field corn. Um, so we'll see. I'll probably grind it up after it dries and, I don't know, make some shakewe, which is a milk, milk and corn flour, kind of a breakfast cereal. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.